Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Hayes. I'm an artist and speed painter from Malaysia. So today in this video, we are going to be taking a look at Mid Journey, an AI tool that helps you generate artwork based on text to image prompts. And then we will see how you can use this AI assisted technology in helping you with your art. So we will start with a short introduction and then after that, we'll go right into it with a simple tutorial from Mid Journey and I'll show you how I do my paint over to finish off the artwork in Procreate. So let's get started. So Mid Journey is actually hosted in Discord and it's an uh, AI tool that uses the text to image algorithm to generate artwork for you. So once you have joined the yeah, Discord server in Mid Journey and then you will actually get assigned to a channel usually under newbies and in this channel you can then use their uh, functions to generate artworks so if you see here in this channel there is a lot of artworks here that is been generated already and then most of them you can see the text prompt that they use to generate the artwork like this is village landscape views cloud thunder sun rays people running in the rain so this can actually give you some idea on how to generate your own artwork so in order to generate your own artwork it's really simple all you have to do is type slash imagine and then type your text prompt so once you have done generating your text and your story, you can just hit enter. So this would actually start generating your artwork using the AI algorithm. But you can see here your text prompt is being pushed up by other people that are using the service as well. So it can get lost because you keep scrolling to look for your own generation when you are waiting for the progress to get done. So an important tip is to go to their git book and then check out their manual and learn how to write text prompt. This can really help you if you are just starting out. And if you check out their billing and licensing here, you can see their plans and how much you can use on your free trial. And then if you pay how much you can use per month. So I'm basically on the standard package. The basic one won't last you very long because you're constantly using their fast hours. So in the standard package, you can actually use relax mode and then that actually gives you like unlimited generations. So these are the generated images that I got from mid journey and we are just going to move them into procreate in order to create artwork so my process usually consists of ai generated artwork and also 3d visuals which you can see here that i've already dragged the render into it with sensors and then we are actually going to paint this artwork all over again in um, procreate in order to create a narrative so I will usually first adjust the levels and the contrast and the colors for the 3D render in order to match the AI artwork. So now I'm actually picking colors from the AI artwork in order to create a palette. And using this palette, I'm going to recolor the entire portrait uh, using gradient maps. So I'm just assigning all the colors that I've picked just now from left to right, shadows to highlights. And then this would be used to recolor the entire portrait itself. All these layers of the color correction into the layers panel first and don't worry so much about them while I paint the rest of the AI artwork first. So basically, I would want to repaint the entire AI artwork so that it does not really look like an AI artwork anymore. And I've actually generated about uh, two or three artworks from Mid Journey. So what happens is if you generate the usual way, it would be a lot of noise like what you see here. All the flowers has a lot of noise. And if you just add an upscale light to it, so they will regenerate the image with less details. And this is actually better for like simpler items like the swan wings itself. So I actually would merge different versions of the artwork and create a collage first uh, to create the narrative that I want to tell to do the composition that I want to create. So usually this process takes maybe like 40% of the time usually in any artwork because there is just a lot of elements to look out for and to move things around to relight them and to recolor and to erase that's just a lot to be done. So anyway, this artwork is about my child abuse when I was young. And so this artwork is called The Metamorphosis of a Swan. Um, so if you notice just now in the 3D renders, she is actually has a lot of bruises on her arms. 
This is actually the first artwork that I tried to have a narrative which means I wanted to have emotions uh, conveyed to my audience so this was my first attempt and it was a difficult one to complete so I find that the pose of the human in this painting is really symbolic of being depressed because when you're depressed you clench your stomach a lot and you hunch over a lot because you're so anxious and full of anxiety all the time so this really shows the insecurity of the figure in the artwork and I thought that it would be very suitable for this narrative I don't actually have a narrative when I generate any artwork it's in mid journey usually the generated artwork tells a story of its own and I just use it to add on more emotions and narrative that way so right now I am incorporating the 3D figure back into the air artwork because I've recolored it, it looks really really close to the color of the swan itself so I'm just um, making sure that the posture is matching the swan and I don't really want to use any human proportions for the fine artwork so this step is usually the most satisfying because I can see everything coming together and I can already visualize the final output I just need to repaint everything so here I am erasing away the 3D rendered hair because I wanted to have uh, painted hair instead but you can see that it's not conforming very well to the proportion so I might need to edit this later on. So I've actually separated her figure into three parts in order to form the body. So here you can see that the bruises is more visible. So when I rendered this 3D image, I already maximized the hunch of the character and it was really at a maximum maximum hunch but even so, it's not enough when it comes to this AI generated artwork. So we're gonna have to do some pushing and liquefying in Procreate in order to conform it to the figure wanted to have her chest very concave and to see a very visible C shape when people look at this profile so I'm really pushing in her chest right now so in the beginning I was experimenting with her other hand holding an arrow uh, and it doesn't really convey the feeling that I want to convey so in the end I decided that she'll be holding a violin bow in order to signify that she's really clenching very very hard into the bow and causing pain in herself so the repainting of the hair is quite important because it is taking up quite a lot of space in the artwork and it represents a lot of flow in the artwork so all the lines got to flow together nicely and most of the generated artworks in AI have some defects when it comes to the flow of forms so we got to repaint all of that to fix that here so let me tell you about the story of this artwork first so this story is about the metamorphosis of a swan uh, princess who was abused and she has a lot of bruises on her body because of the, the abuse and she's trying to change into a swan and, or she was a swan because she was trying to escape from her torment so basically she's hunched over and she's hurting a lot and in order to for her to transform into a swan and be liberated from her pain she actually have to create an act of forgiveness and forgive the abuser for creating the pain in her but when it comes to actually doing it to actually forgiving that person she realized that this will actually create more pain in her uh, compared to the abuse itself it's so painful that she is grasping the violin bow so hard that her feathers are coming off and she's causing pain to herself immensely just to forgive that person but it is very necessary because in the act of forgiveness will actually liberate her from the pain that she's feeling right now and she can finally move on and be free of this torment once and for all so you can tell that this artwork is definitely very close to my heart and I'm actually having difficulty narrating right now <sighs> So let's talk back about the artwork. So right now I'm actually removing away the hairs in the background because I feel that it would actually interfere with the composition that tells the story and I think that it would tell the story better if you can see her really really hunched over like this. So this empty space is really important because it emphasizes the shape of the body very very well and I think it tells the story and gives a better impact that way. 
and I actually have to repaint most of the bruises to add more texture and definition to them so that they stand out a lot more because the artwork is so far away you can't really tell all these details unless you look very very closely so I really need to add more details so that they stand out even though it's been looked at from very far away and if you look here I am adding a lot of scratches as well on this hand that I scratched being the violin bow I have to redraw it because it needs to have a lot of wrinkles to show that the nails are actually really really digging into the skin so all these need to be shaded in in order to tell the story and after that of course comes the easy task of just adding in details and simplifying the artwork in order to make the narrative stand out okay guys thank you so much for watching all the way to the end so this artwork is very close to my heart as you all could probably hear if you watch all the way until now so this artwork was actually minted as an nft on the tezos blockchain which is a more energy efficient blockchain that means clean nft because it causes less environment damage so if you are considering minting an nft one day you can try out the tesos blockchain the, the community there is great and so anyway this hour is already sold out and i hope to see you again for my next paint over in my artwork next time so if you have any questions leave a comment below like and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you next time bye